I have gone and bought the US Open winning championship iron set for hardly anything. Very rarely are you able to go and buy a major champion iron set for under a thousand pounds. Presumably because it's the newest, latest and greatest, even the prototype X, Y and Z. So the fact I was able to pick Matthew's clubs up last night on a two and a half hour round trip for under 200, well that's a bit of a bargain really, isn't it? And it was one of my favorite US Opens, not being biased because the Englishman won it. And obviously Matthew fully deserves the win, incredible ball striking, outrageous golf, Will Zalatoris as well, outrageous golfer, very strong future for that top end of the leaderboard. But one of the biggest reasons I love this tournament so much is it proves there's no one way of playing this game. You've got Matthew using his chipping drill left below right actually in tournament play because guess what? It works. Will Zalatoris with that slight stutter in his putting stroke. And then I find out, thanks to Darren who commented on my Pink Eye Blade video, that Matthew Fitzpatrick is using irons from 2013. Why is no one talking about that? And to be honest, we all know exactly why this isn't being talked about. But I've done a bit of research on these irons, and Matt's not the only ping player that has these irons in the bag. As far as I'm aware, from April 2022, Bubba Watson is also playing the S55. So therefore, for a club that came out in 2013, why is it so good? Why do tour players want to use it? And more importantly, why is no one buying them? So ladies and gents, here they are. 160 pounds worth, three to pitch and wedge, championship major winning irons from 2013. These things, I have to say, haven't been on my radar. Understandably, because these were on Facebook for over two weeks at 200 pounds and no one took any notice of them which at the end of the day just emphasizes that golf clubs are so unique to the person holding them. Newer doesn't necessarily mean better. And if there's a club in your bag that ain't broke, well, don't fix it. And again, to confirm all of this, the most amazing shot of Matthews in the entire week under the circumstances, the pressure, the lie, the wind direction, the way he had to cut it into the green on the 72nd hole, they're using clubs that are near on 10 years old and no one's talking about it. And I think it's just a gentle reminder that manufacturers don't necessarily bring out new clubs that will suit everyone. I'm not saying Ping's eye blades, awful. If anything, I think they're great for a mid handicapper, but they are slightly chunkier than these and slightly more offset. The Ping blueprint, however, exact same design as these, very slim head design, no offset pretty much whatsoever, but it's a hollow head with a forged face. Therefore, if you're a Ping player and you want a cast head, with zero offset. Even though I'm certain this isn't a factor through a tour pro's head, the aesthetics are actually rather clean. Well, you have to go back to 2013, don't you? Another thing I do like about Matt's bag is that he does have a slightly more forgiving iron set, or let's say wood set at the top end of the bag. And some could say that actually he wanted a bit more forgiveness, especially the testing conditions. But he said that obviously his forearm was worn out just from the amount of shots. And there's no question in my mind, if he wanted to play the three and four iron, he's got an outrageous amount of ball striking talent that obviously he could play that off. But my main point is that he has got a seven wood in the bag and he wasn't afraid to go more forgiving at the top end. So even if you are one of the most outrageous ball strikers in the world and you potentially want to go a bit more forgiving on the top end of the bag, I think it's all right to do so. The simplest way I can describe the set of irons is balanced. They look from a top and above sleek, sharp, quite similar to the Ping blueprint. However, just knowing that that slight nick and cavity in the back of the irons does fill you with a bit of confidence. And I'm not saying these are forgiving irons. These are player irons. There's no question about it. But it's a very fine balance I find at the top end of the game when you're looking for ultimate control. But then that slight edge of forgiveness and confidence when you potentially need it. And those very high pressured and shot demanding times that we saw over the weekend. So should we all go and rush to eBay, Facebook, Gumtree and find Ping S55 irons for £200, £250 and put them in the bag? Simply no. Are these better than the Ping Blueprint irons? Simply no. Do they work for the US Open champion Matt Fitzpatrick on the day through that week? 100% yes. And this is the thing that got me excited over the whole weekend when I realised 
that he'd won with irons that came out in 2013 is that golf is a very unique game and you doesn't necessarily always mean better therefore if you've got a club in your bag or a set of clubs in your bag that work for you and basically is the backbone of your golf game don't go and strive for something more work on the stuff that's costing you shots always looking for that new tech that could slightly edge and nudge and improve your good shot because then you run the risk of losing that magic and confidence that you have with an old set that you can't ever quite get back when you go and trade it off for a new one However, I do want to state this before I finish the video. Testament to Ping and their manufacturing, the clubs that they brought out, as I do believe Ping professionals more than most stick for the older equipment just because it works. And that trust and confidence you have when you buy a Ping club is the best that they can potentially bring out for the next three years. You're not gonna get a revamp, new paint, new this, new that next year. The stuff that they bring out is gonna stand the test of time. And obviously Matt winning with a 10 year old set of irons against the best players in the world on one of the most exceptionally difficult golf courses. And the way it was set up is a testament to how good Ping are at manufacturing golf clubs. Guys, if you like this video, you potentially might like this video up here. All of those pink eye blades, which I think is a fantastic bargain. Yes, some of the pros in the world don't use them, but that doesn't mean that they wouldn't be great for you. Great looking, great feeling, and great price, which is why it's featured on the channel. See you later.